Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the program, wherever you're listening up in the highlands, the coast of the islands. It's good to be with you. Today. For most, they knew him as the king of radio talk back show on FM 100. Uh, if I can just take you back a few years, being among the world's leading nations. He was a household name, and most knew him for his deep and husky tone of voice on the talk back show that featured many development issues covering a wide range of topics from political to social agendas, giving everyone an opportunity to participate and be heard on an open forum on national radio, which was one thing he was dedicated in doing. We must not lose what we have, but instead build and improve on it. Originally from Tonga, Mr. Roger Siale Haufa was born on Misima Island, Milnbe Province, on the 28th of December 1943, to Tongan Methodist missionary parents. As a young man growing up and traveling from Fiji then to Australia, he spoke the Tongan, Fijian and English languages. Roger quickly found his passion for broadcasting apart from some administrative jobs he did over the years. The receiving here in Papua New Guinea his job as a broadcaster for almost 50 years linked Papua New Guineans to each other, also to the world. Hello, talk back. Uncle Roger, as many young people who worked with him would call him, was a man of compassion and love. With this, he shared his knowledge with younger broadcasters, journalists and media personnel. His passing on Saturday the 4th of March 2017 was with courage, dignity and grace as many gathered to pay their last respect to this honourable man during his funeral service at the Sir John Guy's indoor complex in Port Mosby. He was kind and funny, warm and loving, embracing and loving my cousins as his own children. He was trusting and giving, loyal and generous. My dad loved my mum so very much. He'd made mistakes in the past but spent the rest of his life trying to make up for them. But in a world of bitterness, hate and distrust, he remained a shining example of grace and mercy, abiding faith, and truly a champion of love. My dad was the strongest man I know. His passion in serving the communities in PNG and advocating on certain issues affecting people, especially in the rural areas through broadcasting, made him a man that many respected and honored. He was critical and vocal on issues and those concerned, however, respected individuals and their views on issues in the country, even at the top level. The democracy and the freedoms, especially the freedom of our media, that we enjoy today uh, because of people like what He certainly used words to defend those freedoms, to share vital information and keep our communities and our people well informed. It might be blood tongue, but today I'm proud to say, without any reservation, I'm sure the Prime Minister and all of us here agree with me. That he is a truly Papua New Guinea. His blood is just Tonga, but his heart and his soul and his passion is Papua New Guinea. Some even becoming his close friends. After work, we normally go fishing. He had a small banana boat called Kaipu, parked at Cerro, at uh, Albert Taligato's uh, house, right on the beach. And we'd go fishing. He's such a great, humorous, you know, he's a bit of a comedian, he's full of jokes. So we'd go and anchor the canoe, uh, the, the, the boat, and catch all these small fish and we'd joke all night. Late Roger would bring pictorial views to his listeners with the way he told his story while on air. Yes, I have our guests here and I'll be introducing them in just a few moments, John. All right then, bye. Mr. Halfa was a fan of those who were also his fans, like the Voice in the Wind band of the Oro province. His favorite gospel band 
who shared a song he loved listening to as a tribute song. Late Mr. Halfer's passing brought together people and his families, both far and near, all colleagues and mates he had known for many years. He is survived by his wife, Mrs. Pauline Halfer, his nine children, 22 grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. Late Mr. Halfer has left the media industry in the country, especially radio, with a big shoe to be filled, and what he was most passionate about, Radio Talkback. His legacy will forever live on.